welcome back to the channel. I am Mr. Tassie, and I'm so happy that you could join me today because we are gonna get our creative thinking caps right on our heads and we're gonna be creating something awesome. Remember, on this channel, we like to be extra creative. This is the place where you come to be different, strange and unusual, and we like to come together and create some very unique things that you're not gonna find anywhere else on the uh, YouTube universe, right? We're gonna be super creative thinkers and we're gonna take two words, and we're gonna smush them together. So today's two words are um, prickly and pineapple to in create and invent a prickly pineapple. So today's artwork, we are going to come together and we are going to make a prickly pineapple. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at artastickids.com. All right, we are doing a pokey pineapple. Okay, here you go. I love drawing pineapples, they're so cute. This one's gonna be so pokey, like more than usual. I know pineapples are pokey, but we're gonna make it super pokey. Okay. All right, two words today. We're mushing them together. Pokey and pineapple. Start off with a curved line. I made this really high on my page. So you see how, like, you know how tall pineapple stuff is. So now, remember, I just make this up on the spot. So now I gotta figure out, I gotta problem solve that. Maybe I'll make it extra cute by making this really small and this really big. <laughs> Change my proportions. I think so. Okay, here we go. We gotta make some pokes. So we're gonna do the letter V to make our pokes. So. Just letter V's. And we're gonna start off on the outside shape first and we're just gonna work our way down. Maybe make a, I'm gonna make a big poke. I don't know why, I just really wanted to. And it's so pokey, we gotta have some on the bottom. I'm imagining with my, I'm filling in the blanks here so you can see like there is nothing drawn here but I'm going in the shape of a pineapple so you can see that there's a shape happening in the inside. A shape made with no shape at all. A line drawn without a line. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, here we go. Now, in these in-between spaces, we're gonna add extra pokes. So we are using line to create pokey texture. So just a V, the letter V is now, which is made with a line, is now helping us to create pokey texture. You're welcome. Pokey texture. Pokey texture. Okay, now we gotta do another layer. I know, you're like, what? Yeah, so in those in-between, in-between spaces, more pokes, but don't worry guys, we have to do the inside of the body still. That's how pokey this is gonna get. Okay, now I'm gonna have a couple peeking out over here in behind, cause it's so pokey. Now before I get crazy on the body, before I get too intense, ah, so intense, um, we gotta give it a face. What kind of face would a poke? I don't know. Let's give it a cute face so that way it's like cute, but like also not cute. Yeah, juxtaposition. Two opposites. All right, circle on either side. Juxtaposition, two opposites. Cute, but not cute because it's owies. Okay, in each eye, one circle, boom, boom, and a smaller circle, boom. Add your sound effects. That's how artists roll, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay, color in the dark of the eyes, leaving those circles nice and white. And anytime I'm going too fast, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue so that way you can work at a pace that works for you. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so cute, but look at this eye. It needs a little, little fixy fixy right there. Is that better? I hope so. All right, around the eyes, we add our nice little cutie lines. Oh, I'm so cute. Little dashed lines, they're just, all of this is lines, but look at those added details, make it awesome. All right, remember we do our big areas first and then we work small. So now we're gonna do a mouth. Straight line between the eyes and uh, connect that line with a curving line. I know, my mouth is in my eyeball. I kind of messed that up, that's okay. Doesn't matter, mistakes are okay, it happens. Don't, don't worry about it. All right, curving line from one corner down to the bottom and then color in that dark of the mouth. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yeah! Now it's a mouth. All right, now we're gonna add some pokes. T 
take that V shape that you have now practiced and add it, whoa, that one got crazy. Add it all over, but not on the face, unless you really want to. I mean, it's your artwork, you can do whatever you want. Boom! Look how pokey this pineapple is, right? I know, right? It was like, they're pokey anyways, but this is extra pokey. All right, back to the top, because you know what? We don't really need emphasis on the foliage, we need emphasis on the pokes. Place a little leaf up there, and now we're gonna draw one, two curving lines on either side. And then we start off on one tip, and we curve it back. One tip, curve it back. One tip, curve it back. One tip, curve it back. And that's how we make a pineapple top. Boom, so simple, right? I know. That's why I, that's why I like pineapples. Once you know, you know. It's like a little secret. No, it's not a secret! Not to you, anyways. Not to you, because you're here making magic happen. All right, magic is done. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. What else is next? What is next? Oh yeah, grab something to color with. Go ahead and color it with whatever makes you happy. Um, I just wanna have a huge shout out, not sponsored at all, but um, maybe if you've ever, if you've been watching these videos, you will know, my friend, that I often, when I get crayons, like these are my normal crayons, they're always broken, except for you, these ones are really old, okay? So these old crayons never broke. Um, but they also don't say. Ooh, these are some. I'm not sure that. <laughs> some of these are really old, and when I read the names on them, they're kind of politically not correct. Okay, so. <laughs> some of mine are from when I was a kid, and they last a long time, hence this one, which name I am not reading. Um, but, anyways, uh, yeah. This one here is from like. It is from the 80s, it's from Canada. Anyway. Most of the new ones, they don't last long and they turn into this in my hands because I pressed too firmly. I even tried the bigger ones, but those never lasted either. But now, I found in the store jumbo crayons. Jumbo! And it's so far so good. Huh. Plus they make a bigger mark, which is super nice. So if anybody's wondering, and if you have this problem too, where you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so annoyed with crayons breaking literally all the time. It's driving me nuts, it's driving me nuts, broken crayons. Because even though they're so good, it's sometimes really hard to use the really itty bitty pieces. And also it takes so long to color. Now, problem solved guys, jumbo. So anyway, the whole moral, the whole point of the story is I wanna say thank you Crayola for finally coming out with a product that is not disintegrating in my hands because I was so annoyed. Now again, my other problem is I have to find some markers that don't fade in a few uses. That is my next task, mm-hmm, next task. Which is why I come back to, why, why, I like wax crayons because they don't fade, that's a good, Good use of why I like them. Oh yeah, I need to give my tongue a little something, something, and my eyes. See, I I don't need any more wax crayon colors. These are the only colors that I need. And the reason is is because you can make any colors by blending your colors together, guys. All you really need, I can take out these ones. That's probably good enough, but really, if you want to be an artist, that's all you need. Primary colors and your neutral. Uh, there is no way it's kind of hard with wax crayons to do that, but... Oh yeah, I got distracted again. It happens. Anyways, you just need primary colors and you can mix your secondaries, tertiaries, everything you want. Your tints, your tones, your shades using just your primaries. And a neutral, black. And preferably white as well. But anyways, that's crayons, so here we go. Alright. Back to business. Back to, get out of my eyes. Back to business. So coloring it, whatever you want. I know I went on a big crayon rant. But I just want you to inspire you on one, some awesome tips if you have a problem. I found a solution. Um, and two, to be inspired to use your primary colors to make new colors. Those are your awesome tidbits. And 
once you're done coloring in your artwork using your choice of art making mediums, your pineapple artwork is done.